Roar! <laughs> Three. Okay. Hi, guys. This is our first recorded session. Yep. So... Which is kind of a little side story because we kind of have to get this out of the way. Yeah. We want the main action to happen in the real, in the group ones, but there's some things that have to happen side story wise, and it would just be boring to be, have it mixed in with everything. So. Boring for the other people. Yeah. And the listeners, probably. So. Yeah. No, not really the listeners, but. For everyone else participating in the RP because they just sit around. Yeah. So. So. Where am I starting? You are in your quarters on board the ULE Midnight. Okay. Resting on your bed. Okay. As repairs of the ship are underway. Well, we're going to just get through this. Hmm? <laughs> what? I'm just like, okay, that works. I was thinking I'd be closer, but that's okay. Um... Mm. And while you're laying there on your bed, dozing a little, The light of the room is dimmed. Mm. Your eyes are closed. Basically. <laughs> and suddenly through your eyelids, a green light illuminates your eyeballs. Mm. Opens one eye a bit more. Looking in the direction of the light. Um, a green slit pupiled eye looks back at you. Jumps out of my skin. <laughs> Jumps back in bed. What the? No, I fully, fully, fully awake. You see. Queen Chrysalis standing in the middle of your room. What in the question are you doing here? And dude, did you ever learn about personal space? She raises an eyebrow. I'm living in a hive. And second of all, I'm no dude. Eh. Let's not get into gender politics. Uh, okay, fine. Um, that doesn't explain why you're here. I am here because my dear sister Luna informed me that my services might be required. Well, yeah, actually, sort of. Sits down on my bed. Um... I assume you've been brought up to speed, or do I need to explain a few things? Um, three more small pillars of green flame erupt around your bed, and when they, when the flames die down, you see various changelings in various states of, um, not to say decomposition, but their bodies are mangled in different uh, positions, but they don't look like your normal changelings. One of them, for example, is white, another one blue, and the third one is covered in fur. Have you people been, uh, other changelings been trying to infiltrate you? Which is a very, very stupid idea. But yes, they have. Yeah, I probably should have warned you about that. Things have been slightly crazy. We haven't been able to cover all our bases. I've actually been wanting to talk to you for a while. 
A warning would have been very much appreciated, though these three imposters were easily detected. Mm. Um, we also captured an actual alternate Queen Chrysalis, too. So be aware of alternate use. She raises a hoof and a green flame erupts on her hoof. A second later, there lays a bleeding skull. All that right. kind of resembles her. Was it not for the antlers on its head? So it still rocks. Anyway, <laughs> breaking story. Um, okay. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, I'm surprised Lupinen didn't exactly send word your way. At least a little. Oh, she did do much more, my dear auntie. Huh? And with the glow of her horn, um, something like a little screen appears in midair between the two of you. Mm. And you see the changeling hive being patrolled by Lupine Akarne soldiers. Wow. That's awesome. We may have never gotten along that well, but she does value me as one of her favorite nieces. <laughs> Why does that not surprise me? Out of all of them, you're the only one that hasn't tried to destroy her, as far as I'm aware. Oh. No, I have not. In fact, it was my changelings who assisted her when my dear sisters tried to spoil her day. Mm. Fair enough. So, I'm assuming this means you're definitely brought up to speed. <sighs> You are at war with a quadrillion different dimensions. Yeah. And you are in need of spies. Would very much appreciate it. I mean, there is literally no one who can disguise themselves as well as you guys. Trust me, the amount of times one of you has snuck into my snuck into the Everfree Forest, into my territory. She raises an eyebrow, but lets that comment about your territory slide for the moment. <laughs> and then she smirks. What are you smirking at? It is true that we can disguise ourselves quite well. So, we also have kind of our hands full keeping the hive safe as it is. That's fair. I don't want... If you don't want to be part of this war, I don't blame you. It just would be kind of handy to have people who can go and basically blend in. But I understand. Your people are your people. She cocks her head at you. Looking at you was a look that makes you feel appraised. What is it? I'm trying to find out what kind of person you are, Midnight Wheat. <laughs> so you know about that, too, huh? What exactly do you mean? You know my name. That's <laughs> rare most of the time. I don't exactly go around proclaiming it from the hilltops. Lupina has mentioned it to me. Huh. She holds you in very high regard. <laughs> yeah. 
which is surprising, considering when we first met, she wanted to kill me. <laughs> and you think you're the only one? Oh, she wanted to kill you too? Several times. <laughs> Clearly she, she has you in high regard. At least, a little. Lupin and I have come to mutual respect over the years. She knows that I mean her no harm. And hence, I am at least sometimes invited for dinner. <laughs> Slightly off topic, but can you actually eat? I know you guys feed on love, but can you actually eat physical food? I've always been curious about that. She flashes her fangs at you. Yeah. Wanna find out? I could summon some food, but not me. Please not me. I've got a war to run. I need to keep al every people alive, if possible. So, this, let's see. So, ma'am, you want my changelings as spies. Do I see this correctly? Yes. Slightly creeped out by being called mom. I think I could give you a few drones. Would a thousand be sufficient for now? Midnight's eyes widen, slightly surprised. A thousand? Yes, certainly. We could at least get some better recon on many of the dimensions we're up against. I would be very grateful. It will take at least a month to prepare the drones for this assignment. Take all the time you need. Don't you even want to know why? Yeah, I do. But I know you're not... Well, every time you've come over to our house, to your dad's house, you usually hang out together alone. Which is because, as far as I'm informed, you think I smell of bag. Midnight's ears go back. My ears go back. Sorry, but you do a little. Over time, I've gotten used to it, but because I do have... Uh, well, a changeling sister-ish, but it, when it first comes into the room, it's a little bit surprising. I'm sorry, I don't mean it in a bad way, it's just something I'm not used to. You should come visit the hive sometimes. I You'll get used to it in no time. <laughs> It's a shame my, this, my sister never took me, but I don't think she likes you very much either. <laughs> Anyhow. Sorry. What you must understand is that my drones and I are connected. Oh? Each and every one of them has their own will. True. But we are mentally connected all the time. Wow, that must get noisy. You learn to deal with it over the millennia. And I guess if you're born into it, then you don't really know anything different. Exactly. And that is why I have to prepare those drones. Because they'll be cut off? 
from the entire hive, yes. Ouch. For the first time in their life, their thoughts will be their own. That would be scary. Would it be easier if we sent them, like, in twos? So at least they'd have each other? Might work, but that is your decision to make. Understood. All I can do is prepare them for the solace of, well, being alone in your head. Mm. And that could be a dangerous thing in itself. <laughs> Don't I know it? <laughs> Thank you, Chrysalis. May I ask... Why? Are you... For this war? She raises her snout up in a... haughty pose. I am not for open conflict. Not at all. But I am giving you a chance. A chance? Equestria might see me as a monster. And sometimes I even think myself that I am one. But there's one thing. I will always support my family. As you might know, my biological mother has more than once tried to eradicate me out of this world. So I'm giving you the chance to be a better one. Don't squander it. All I want is to be a good mom. Though admittedly, me thinking of myself as your mom is a little weird. Though this tr family tree is a bit odd in itself. <laughs> Don't I know it. One reason why I try to avoid dying at all costs. Oh. Oh. That, well, my son, your brother, could let you out. Not if Elysium doesn't want me to get out. Mm. He might obey his mother. <laughs> Wouldn't matter if Elysium hid me somewhere. Mm. And believe me, I have seen the darkest corners of her realm. I have yet to be even in her realm. Maybe she'll give you the grand tour one day. Not anytime soon, hopefully. Oh, uh, if she ever does. Um, I suggest you go to the waterfalls. They are quite the sight. <laughs> Just imagine... An endless waterfall going into a bottomless pit. I didn't realize there was water in the underworld realm, death realm. <laughs> but I guess anything can be there, technically. Shows how little you know yet. I, am I was born and raised there. That leaves me with so many other questions. Go ahead. Did you have an actual body in that? In since you were born there, did you actually have enough a body, or did you have to leave the realm to get a body? In the realm of the dead, of course you have a body. But do you still have to gain one when you get out as well? Like, or is it? Like, is it a spiritual no. body or... Okay, okay. 
sorry. <laughs> New member to the family, still learning a lot. You will learn. <laughs> I've got all the time in the world. Mm. Not quite, but very close to it. <laughs> still. Thank you. She bows her head a little and very silently says before she disappears in a gout of flame, Don't break my trust in you. Well, that's scary. He looks around at the dead bodies. <laughs> yes, they're still there. Also disgusting. She also left the head of the other chrysalis on your desk. Mm. Though they might prove useful to think about, to be analyzed. At least a little. That might, let's just go with that's why she left them there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Not as a warning. <laughs> she is someone to be reckoned with. Mm. And admittedly, Midnight is a little bit playing nice, but the fact that she, Chrysalis wants her to be her mom is sort of making Midnight go, huh, maybe she just never had a proper chance. You must imagine the only one in the family who never tried to get rid of her is Script. Which makes sense. Midnight's rethinking everything she thought about changelings. Though she's also thinking, wait, does that mean her sister is still connected to the hive? Every changeling is connected to the hive, yes. Huh. Even if you leave the hive? Mm hmm. In this world? You still are part of the hive. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> so she knows everything, actually. Mm hmm Lupin didn't need to tell her. She already knew of a Lupin and Carni living in the forest. Mm-hmm. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's very possible. Chrysalis knows a lot of Midnight's deep dark secrets. She okay. just didn't mention that because she didn't want to intimidate you too much. <laughs> Anyway, this was Chrysalis's visit with Midnight, which we had planned for so long. Yeah, agreed. And this means that in due time, the changelings will join the war. Mm hmm. Your thoughts on that? It'll be good. It'll be, it will be good because it means he, a little bit more of a chance to. Uh, infiltrate places that they haven't been able to infiltrate. Mm -hmm. For instance, places where their ponies or griffins or whatever, well, not griffins, actually, we haven't talked about the griffins yet, um, or anyone else involved in the wars can actually get to. So, tentacle creatures <laughs> could change into the tentacle creatures or uh, or whatever uh thingy is who is it i've forgotten why is my head gone blank you know the human with the big wings mm -hmm. him um garius that's it so yeah it, it could be great but midnight also knows that she has to do everything to keep that although this is a dangerous mission and chrysalis knows this she also she has to treat them the same and not just mm -hmm. throw them like cannon fodder so mm. she's like okay i need to be wise about these guys too treat them just the same not yeah chrysalis but chrysalis would uh hold it against you if you treated her people like cannon fodder yeah 
she might be able to produce more drones in a very epic speed. Mm. But um, she'd rather not. These guys are also reminding me of the... Kind of think, making me think of the Borg. Kinda, however, without the, um, losing yourself. Yeah. However, I think we should end this here. Okay. Don't forget, guys, there's a Teespring store down in the description if you really like the characters from this. You can find several of these characters on all kinds of merchandise. Mm -hmm. And you can support the show via our patrons. Yes, please. See you guys next time. Uh -huh.